For whatever reason, it is not transferred over in, in, in playing time for Bryant. He's three for 19 on the year from downtown. Jimmy sets up Haquez. Well done. The pass, the cut, and the finish. Haquez really times his cuts well coming to the ball, typically from the weak side of the floor. Jimmy Butler head on a swivel. Always solid court vision to set Haquez up. Butler already with three assists. He ahead by 12. Reese missing the three, and here comes Heywood Highsmith with lots of white shirts to keep him coming. Wide open, corner three. Kaboom! Haywood Highsmith has now made his last eight threes. Over the last three games, John, he's hit 14 of his 18 shots. Yeah, he has been outstanding defensively and then offensively last two games, averaging 16 and a half points off the bench. Finally up by 15, two minutes in to this quarter. Highsmith from Haquez, and he gets fouled. I'm a Hawkins Jr., one of the best cutters on the Miami Heat. Even as a rookie here, coming from the weak side, gets to the open area off the Jimmy Butler drive. He changes the angle, comes from the baseline to the wing, and then right towards Jimmy there where he can catch and convert. Foul was on Ben, and while Highsmith does his thing, let's pause for a quick word from Star. Music to my ears. You don't have ears. Story. It's different. Scoot Henderson back into the game. Manaya goes out, and just one of the two free throws for Highsmith gives the Heat a 16 point lead. This is Thibel. Jamari Walker back in. Remember, he picked up two quick fouls on the first quarter. Six on the shot clock for the Trailblazers. Bam. Nope. Rebound of Martin. The Blazers one for 11 from downtown. Thomas Bryant makes the baseline jump shot. Thomas Bryant averaging just under five points a game this year. But John Eric Spolstra went out of his way to compliment Bryant before the game. What the job he did in relief of the injured Kevin Love. Yeah, he's still out there right now. He's playing those same minutes because of that physicality that he brings, rebounding the ball, defending, and opportunistically looking to score. Caleb connects from three. Oh, and it rains, it pours, and it's pouring Miami Heat offense right now. They ruled it a long two for Martin. It is a 20-point lead for Miami. This is just what you hope for. High School, Mitch Richmond's alma mater, FAU, my neighborhood college of choice, and now doing a great job with the Heat. We've got so many talented women that are a big part of the Heat organization. Well, we sure do. we got nine minutes left, second quarter. Miami on a block shot by Bryant. The Heat have scored 12 straight points. They want more. Bryant gets two more. But Thomas Bryant, a block on one end, a score on the other, and it's now a 22-point lead for the Heat. Well, 23, his, actually. His physicality. Scoot uh, Henderson thought he had a wide-open layup there, and Thomas Bryant timed the block and then able to get the finish down on the other end. If Bain gets the score and the foul. Look at the timing here on this block by Thomas Bryant. I mean, Scoot Henderson's so up. High there, almost looking like he's laying it down and, and able to get rewarded with the layup at the end. It looks like he may have hurt his his leg a little bit. Look, we're going to keep an eye on him. Uh, great coast to coast possession there on both ends of the floor for Thomas Bryant. Haquez picking up that foul. By the way, the the last shot by Caleb Martin before the timeout on the court they ruled it a two. They reviewed it and gave him back a three. Well, the Heat ahead by twenty. 8.20 left in the half, and Bryant gets a score and a great entry pass from Caleb Martin. But Thomas Bryant, John, he's like a, a, a reliever coming out of your bullpen. He's got six points in six minutes. That could be a blocking foul. Bryant wants a review. Jabari Walker will go to the strike. Deep duck in here, and Caleb able to find him off the bounce. Look at the position right under the basket. Uses his left hand, which is his weak hand there, to be able to finish so the shot doesn't get blocked. Very fundamental, uh, incredibly efficient. 
is Thomas Bryan and what he's doing coming off the bench right now. And in just six minutes, he's already got six points on three or four shooting. John, lo- love the, the angle of the entry pass by Caleb Martin. He's a veteran player. He, he knows where you need to go. He had the perfect angle to make that delivery. That's true, but it also takes two to, to tango there. And Thomas Bryant able to get that deep post up to really give him that target uh, for that angle ingress and pass. So it is a 21-point heat lead, just under eight minutes left in the half. High Smith, kaboom! The man is untouchable right now. Haywood High Smith has made his last nine triples. He's two for two tonight. He has seven points in six minutes off the bench. He did by 24. Eaton couldn't hold on, and here we come again. Hawkins. High Smith again. Yes! made his last 10 threes. The Heat are ahead by 27. 50 to 23. Oh. Banton had to put it up high. Aiden able to smash down the miss. Yeah, Thomas Bryant having to rotate over to challenge Banton after he blew by the perimeter. Left the glass open there for Aiden to come in and clean it up. By the way, Highsmith has missed a shot tonight. My bad. He's 3 of 4 from downtown. Haquez. Sure. Rebound to Bryant. Bryant with eight to shoot. Miss it. Got it back and couldn't finish. And here comes Scoot Henderson. The lob is thrown. Eighth Portland turnover. Bryant takes a look and then smashes it through. Timeout with the Heat ahead. 52 to 25. Haywood Highsmith making his presence felt out there. Coming off the bench. Ball movement. Finding that comfy corner and the follow through, waving goodbye as it goes through the net. And the driving kick action gets Highsmith another look. He is a 39% three point shooter, and that number is moving by the shot attempts. 